So from a designer's perspective, I think we all have a responsibility, not just making money and not just selling to the consumer. Hello, welcome. My name is Edward Armour, Creative Director for Edward Armour Collection. Um, I want to talk to you guys about my spring 2018. I'm pretty exciting. Something new, something I've, never, I've not done in a while. Um, I'm taking it back to eight years where I started from and what made my eight years such a success story, coming to Italy, putting together an amazing collection that has brought such an excitement to the marketplace through my invention, innovation, and, and educating people through the art of dressing. Experience working in Italy is pretty incredible. You know, the, first of all, I think it's finding an opportunity and finding factories and, and people with great talent that are willing to do what you really want to do. Especially with my taste level and what I intend to do in the men's accessory industry, it's totally different from the typical direction of typical US men's wear or global men's wear accessory. So um, besides coming to taste great meals, coming to Lake Como where you have you know, there's such a great view um, of the mountains and the villas and, and, you know, the lake in the morning, beautiful run across the lake. I think it's so incredible that Italians still have something that makes this country so unique, which is their creativity part of it. And, you know, blending my culture, my taste level and my class to it makes it a perfect marriage. We have been working with Edward approximately four years, I think, four or five years. Our relationship with Edward is very special because he's a man of high creativity, he's ahead of, of the times and ahead of competition. We are called Artisan Factory because most of the printing is done by hand or uh, machines which are very close to uh, end printing. We are uh, 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 leaders, uh, especially in pocket handkerchiefs. We produce about 4,000 designs here, uh, each one in about 12 different color combinations. So we offer a choice nobody else can give. Um, the other part I want to talk about is, again, going back to my culture, being a Ghanaian, uh, migrating to the United States and getting an opportunity to do business with retailers that it's hard to break the door and get in to actually sell your product in from Canadian stores like Harry Rosen to Neiman Marcus and you know Saks Fifth Avenue and, and stores all the specialty stores all over the United States and then coming to Italy and finding factories that are willing to work with you without prejudging you culturally or based on you know, where you come from, um, I think it's such a great thing. I think that alone has given me the opportunity to open doors for other people who want to get into the industry to hold their hands and give them a helping hand. I think 2018 is going to be really special. Um, you know, the doubt in the consumer behavior and a change in, in, in the cycle of our season and global warming and, you know, people not buying cold weather clothes like the way they used to. I think what I've done this year is going to really elevate the way people look at dressing all over again. Um, it's going to bring excitement to dressing back again. It's going to change the habits of consumer behavior. It's also going to make people feel good about shopping and, you know, overall bring joy back into a phase of people that we meet on a daily basis. And I think that's something that's really incredible in our day-to-day -day living. <music>